Hi, my name is Alex Cato, and I'm going to read you guys Tar Beach. I think it's really important to give some credit to Faith. She actually wrote and illustrated this whole book, so I think that that's something to take note of. Um, the illustrations are just beautiful, and it's based off of her, her story. So what do you guys think are po some of the possibilities of the reason that they named it Tar Beach based off of the opening illustration? I will always remember when the star fell down around me and lifted me up above George Washington Bridge. I could see our tiny roof with mommy and daddy and Mr. and Mrs. Honey, our next door neighbors, still playing cards as if nothing was going on. And Bibi, my baby brother, laying really still on her mattress, just like I told him to, his eyes like huge floodlights tracking me through the sky. Sleeping on Tar Beach was magical. Laying on the roof in the night with stars and skyscraper buildings all around me made me feel rich, like I owned all at that I could see. The bridge was my most prized possession. Now I have climbed it. All I had to do was fly over it for it to be mine forever. I can wear it like a great diamond necklace, or just above it, and marvel at its sparkling beauty. I can fly, yes, fly. Me, Cassie Lewis Flightfoot, only eight years old, in the third grade, and I can fly. That means I'm free to go where I want for the rest of my life. Daddy took me to see the new union building he was working on. He can walk on steel girders high up in the sky and not fall. They call him Cat. What are some of the reasons that you think that they call him Cat? But still, he can't join the union because Grandpa wasn't a member. Well, Daddy's going to own that building because I'm going to fly over it and give it to him. Then it won't matter that he's not in their old union or whatever colored or half-bred Indian like they say. He'll be rich and won't have to stand on 24-story high girders and look down. He can look at his building going up, and Mommy won't cry all winter when he goes to look for his work and doesn't come home. And Mommy can laugh and sleep late hours like Miss Honey, and we can have ice cream every night for dessert. Next, I'm going to fly over the ice cream factory just to make sure we do. Tonight, we're going out to Tar Beach. Mommy is roasting peanuts and frying chicken. And Daddy will bring home a watermelon. Mr. and Mrs. Honey will bring the beer and their old green card table. And then the stars will fall around me. And I will fly into the Union Building. I'll take Bibi with me. He has threatened to tell Mommy and Daddy if I leave him behind. I have told him that it's easy anyone can fly, and all you need is somewhere to go that you can't get to any other way. The next thing you know, you're flying among the stars. This book was based off of some of the memories that she had from her childhood and growing up. I think that we really need to take time to appreciate some of the artwork that she did in the book. It's really amazing. I can't believe that she painted this and wrote it. Thank you guys for watching my video, and I hope you guys enjoyed